a little practice with identifying and finding points on the graph. So in this first set, I have a set of points labeled on the graph A, B, C, D, E. And what we want to do is we want to determine their ordered pairs. So we'll start with A. We notice that it goes over to negative 6 on the x, but it does not go up and down. So it doesn't move on the y-axis, that makes it 0 for the y. So we have negative 6 for the x, 0 for the y. B. Some of the stuff you have to eyeball. But it looks like we are moving from the 0, 1, 2, 3, so negative 3 to positive, and then we move up 3 on the y, so that we are at negative 3, 3. Uh, letter C, we're at negative 1, we drop down, it looks like we drop down to negative 3, so negative 1, negative 3. D, we come over to positive 3 on the X, and then it looks like we go up 1 on the Y, so it's 3 comma 1. Notice how that X comma Y, X comma Y, each and every time. And then we come over here to positive 8, up to positive, mm, it looks like 6. And there you go. That's all it is. This is a very important skill if you want to learn not only how to graph things, but how to read the graphs and what they're telling you. The x and y axis will should, should be labeled with what they mean, and then you can determine what the points stand for. All right, on to the next set. We're given five points. We have to go find them on the graph. So the point 3, 1. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's right here with D. So that's also V. That's fun. W, negative 5. So we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative on the X, and then up 7. So 5, 7. I do not have grid marks on my graph. Most people will have grid marks on theirs. Um, so it's just up to you. I thought it might be confusing if I brought them in because they'd be so light. Uh, X, we have negative three, negative seven, so we go over negative three, and then we go down seven. About there. Y, we go over to four, one, two, three, four, and then we go down six. So it looks like we're about here. Now these points, even though we can see them and it looks like they take up space, mathematically they do not take up space. The graph is, is just the same as the picture in a sense. The graph is unneeded, it just really, really, really helps us think about and visualize some of this stuff that's happening. Finally Z is zero, 0, we always start at zero, 0 in order to branch out and, and label our points, and so zero, 0 is the origin. It's right smack dab where the two meet. Phil, do they always meet at zero, 0, Theoretically? No, always? I suppose you can make an argument that they don't always, but for most math classes, yes, always. And then I'm sure that somebody will say, oh, but what about, yeah, that's not, that's not really the introduction to graphing <laughs> class. So this is just that basic, uh, basic idea of labeling points on a graph and then using the points to find them.